If you like bluegrass, won't you come along with me? Banjo's fiddles out on the open sea. cruise yesterday with Dick yeah, and Lou. Of course, we were the bluegrass, and, yeah. but we, and we had a lovely time on that boat on the lake. And uh, and then before that, you mentioned we rode that that historic train, and that you know puts us in mind of a of a, a song that we do that was written by our friend Bill Isles in honor of his grandfather, who during the U.S.'s Great Depression in the 1930s had the job of fixing trains at night in the roundhouse. And uh, hobo, <coughs> you all know who, yeah. what hobos yeah, yeah, are. Yeah yeah, 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 okay, well. He's only a hobo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, hobos would come by looking for a warm place to sleep, and he would let them in, despite the fact that if caught, he might have lost his job. Hobos in the roundhouse. From seven to seven, Every night of the week Fixing trains in the roundhouse I work on my feet And I told my children Hope the bed bugs don't bite Cause I got hobos sleeping In the roundhouse tonight From Akron to Hinkley And Prairie du Chien And I believe what they're saying And I rouse them at four And head down the line The boys are sleeping In the roundhouse tonight In the roundhouse tonight 
Bühne. Oh. Oh. hearing us okay? Can you hear the music well out there? Yeah. Yes? Well then, then you can thank this gentleman over here. His name is, I'm going to see if I can get the last name approximately correct, uh, Peter Grunfeldt. What's up? Well, no, 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 I should try again. Uh, Peter Grunfeldt. Is that be better? Better? Okay, okay. He, he does a lot of sound, uh, for bluegrass music and other kinds of music. In fact, when the European world of bluegrass music has their big festival, he has been the sound man for that festival. So he's a, and he's also a bluegrass musician, played in the band, and so he's been in the bluegrass scene for a long time. Thank you, Peter. We have a couple more people to introduce you, and then we're going to do one more song. I'd like to introduce the married couple in Monroe Crossing. Our bass player and our fiddle player are not only married, they're married to each other. <laughs> now, since we're, we're so close to the Reichs Museum, we have all these cultured people here from the art world. Uh, maybe you'll get this joke, maybe not, but I'll explain it to you afterwards. Uh, this is what we call bluegrass gothic. <laughs> it's an American painting called American Gothic. Look it up if you don't know it. <laughs> Our, uh, um, now, I didn't mention this earlier, but Minnesota is located, uh, if you think of Europe, Minnesota would be Sweden. Mm -hmm. Because we're at the top, right in the middle, okay? And just to the east of Minnesota, and Minnesota is kind of the Scandinavia of the U.S. We have a lot of Norwegians and a lot of uh, Swedes and so on. Wisconsin, however, is uh, a lot of German, German descent. However, he is not German. He is no, Swedish. Swedish, Dutch, and Bohemian. Swedish, Dutch, and Bohemian. <laughs> my, my grandfather's last name was Van Tegeler. Yeah. <laughs> So if you know any Van Tieglers, we might be related. <laughs> I talked to a Van Tiegler. He said there's a guy who owes him money. <laughs> That's not my grandfather. Oh, okay, okay. He wears a pink shirt. Anyways, uh, he is also a former rock and roller. He was a, uh, a punk rock drummer before getting into bluegrass music. And he is our driver. He has been having a blast on the German Autobahn. And we, we warn him, make sure when you pass, look. Three times. <laughs> Check for the cars coming through because they come times. mighty fast. Yeah. Check three times, okay? And uh, he is a, a great sound man and uh, the bounciest bass player in bluegrass music. Give it up for Mark Anderson. Well, Lisa, her mom and dad are from a small town in northern Minnesota. Uh, but uh, that's not where Lisa was born because her dad was a agricultural economist and he got a position overseas in Africa in Nigeria as an agricultural consultant and that's where Lisa was born she also lived in Kenya Thailand and get this exotic New Jersey <laughs> before settling in Minnesota where she fits in wonderfully because she's a hundred percent Norwegian heritage Fabulous singer, an amazing fiddle player, and a wonderful songwriter. And those two co-wrote the next song we're going to do. Make welcome on fiddle, Lisa Fugli. Girl, you really got me down. You got me I don't know where I'm going. Well, we're gonna, after this song, we're going to take a short break and come back with your requests. Let Derek on the guitar know what you would like us to play for the second half of the show. And we do have some CDs with us. We have a gospel CD and a CD of originals and songs we brought into the bluegrass world. So those are back there with our boys along with schedules. The schedule has Danny Stewart's telephone number so you can come on that cruise with us, okay? <laughs> All right, here's uh, the bullet train. One, two, three, four, one, two.